But yet, y'all don't go to this. This is the most important thing. Oh, let, let me guess. Y'all don't want to go to this because this was written by a white man. How is it annoying when a white man uh, kills a black person? But yet, it's not annoying when black people kill black people. When, when black people kill not little babies out here, you know what I'm saying? Everything is going to be all white. Bruh, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, bruh. This video is so disturbing. I watched it and bruh, I was really disgusted with this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch it, man. We finna watch it together. I'm gonna get my thoughts. The same thoughts I was thinking while watching the video, I'm gonna give the same thoughts right now. You feel me? So hit the like button, subscribe, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow me on IG. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, without further ado, let's get it. Let's go, man. most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> she, she makes me so mad. Everybody in this documentary made me mad. I'm not even gonna cap. What me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. When she said that, bro, I already knew I had to react to this because, boy, I had to get some thoughts off my chest, okay? First off, let me say this: It's how is it annoying when a how is it annoying when a white man uh, kills a black person? But yet, it's not annoying when black people kill black people. When when black people killing not little babies out here, you know what I'm saying? When black people killing this baby, that baby, this baby. It's so many, uh, so many young black babies that done got shot and killed by another black person. But that's not annoying, right? We don't black might matter, black lives matter. We don't say that for that, right? We don't do that, but we only do it when a white man shoot us, right? How is that? How is that annoying? So how does that get under your skin so much? How does a white man killing a black person get under your skin so much? But seeing our babies out here get shot left and right, dying left and right, our young teenagers dying left and right by another black person. That doesn't annoy you? That doesn't get under your skin? Because it's show, for show, get under my skin to see people my age dying left and right, to see people I went to school with dying left and right, getting shot by another black person. That That's annoying to me. But it, it, and it's also knowing that we don't we don't march the streets for that though. But we definitely march the streets for when a for when a white man shoot a black person. But I I'm just curious on how is that so much annoying, bro? How is that so much annoying? Come on, bro. What is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it? Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> really just a bunch of. White lies. <laughs> you thought she was funny? You thought she was funny, nigga? Like, bro. Or criminalized. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> We're storming the Capitol. You're not patriots. You're ridiculous. One of the definitions of American whiteness is ignorance. But yet y'all want to be, but yet y'all want to be so much united. We all want to be united. We all, we all want to stop racism, right? But to me, from my experience, from what I've been seeing, you know, it seems like it's not even the white people that's really doing this racism stuff. It seems like it's black people. I mean, like, bro, it's, they got a whole documentary right now. Everything's going to be all white. 2022 official trailer Showtime documentary. This is on television, bro. How is this? How did this make it to the, to the, to the big stream? How? This is racist. And it's crazy because we would never be divided when we when we post stuff like this, when we make stuff like this, when we put this out online to brainwash kids, to brainwash teenagers, to brainwash adults even. Because, you know, some adults, they get brainwashed because this all they do is sit at the TV screen all day long. And, and oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. That white man just shot that. But then they it skips their brain when they see a black man shoot a black man or when they see two black people in custody for killing the little you seven-year-old girl. That, that skips their mind. But as soon as they see a white man, they, they oh, I can't see it, white people. Ah, F them crack. Oh, like they do all this racist racist stuff and then we complain that white people are so racist to us but we just be racist right back to us no why can't we grow up why can't we grow up let's move past slavery let's move past. i ain't say forget it but let's move past it why can't we move past why can't we forgive white people why can't we forget because half of the time we complain we complain 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 and then blame white people for slavery and all this and that but let me tell y'all something Y'all realize that black people sold black people into slavery and there was a black slave over and there, there was probably plenty of black slave owners that actually owned black 
people. But we don't look at that. We we, we that skipped our mind. When when this black on black, that skips our mind. But let it be white on black. It it it, it it's stuck in here. I don't get it, bro. Y'all need to really grow up and be more mature. Be more mature. Y'all don't y'all don't be mature when y'all voting. Y'all see a black man, y'all see a black man like Obama and stuff, and y'all vote right away because a black man first impressed. Y'all, I'm pretty sure half of y'all probably just voted because he was black. I guarantee that. And that's on everything. I, I guarantee that. I, I could bet a hundred thousand dollars that I don't even have a hundred thousand dollars, but y'all can give it to me because I know I'm gonna be right. But I can guarantee that half of these black people only voted for Obama because he's black. They didn't care about none of he was speaking on, only because he's black. I promise you. White people, we are not your problem. You are. Should white. No, we're the problem. We're the problem. You know what I'm saying? We're the problem. Look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing. We're not making ourselves more united. We're just dividing. We're just dividing the U.S. more and more and more. It's like every single day the U.S. has been divided more and more and more than it was yesterday, the more that it was the next day, the day after that. Like It just seems like we're dividing. We're dividing everything, bro. Everything. People today feel any responsibility for slavery. <laughs> Hell yeah. White Jesus or black Jesus? Jesus was not white. Think of geography. Ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. Bro, nobody cares, bro. I hate when people, oh my gosh. Look, look. This, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Let me show y'all something. Let me let me show y'all something. Let me break this down to y'all real quick. First off, oh, I got a lot to get off my chest with this one. Oh my gosh. Look, I know y'all want to watch it. I know y'all want to watch it. I, but I need to say this. I need to say this, bro. Stop focusing on so much the color of what Jesus was. Nobody knows the real color of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? This is all he wants us to focus on. This right here, this is what y'all need. Because apparently, y'all don't forgive. Y'all y'all angry towards white people. Y'all have so much anger between y'all. None of y'all really have the fruits of the spirit living inside y'all. Because if y'all did, y'all would have self-control. Y'all would have forgiveness. Y'all would have joy. But we can't see that. We can't see the light shine through y'all because y'all say the most dumbest racist stuff. But yet, y'all don't go to this. This is the most important thing. Oh, let, let me guess. Y'all don't want to go to this because this was written by a white man. Oh, it's, it's the white man religion. It's the white man religion. But y'all so much talk about Jesus all day long, but yet it's the white man guy. It's the white man this. It's the white man that. But y'all talk about Jesus all day long. Oh, Jesus, ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. Did the Bible ever speak on Jesus walking around with blonde hair and blue eyes? Did the Bible ever see, speak on say Jesus was black as whatever? He had black hair. He had brown eyes. He, he, dressed, he dressed like he was in the ghetto. Like, I mean, bro, the Bible didn't speak on none of that. Y'all need to stop focus on the color and focus on the word. Focus on the message. Focus on the given message of this because apparently y'all so much focus on the color of Jesus. And bro, when I got Jesus tatted, this is not even Jesus. I didn't peep that I got a regular man tatted on me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't peep that until I'm like, damn, bro, I really don't know how Jesus looked. So I just looked up an image on Google and it showed this. Let me see if y'all can, uh, can't even see it. Right there. There we go. That right there. That's not even Jesus, bro. And I remember I got this tatted. Somebody was like, "Oh, that's the, the you got you got you got the double tatted because Jesus was not white." I mean, if you want your black Jesus, bro, I'm black. So go ahead. It's tatted on me. There go your black Jesus. That's that's exactly what I said. Exactly what I said, bro. Stop focusing so much on the color of Jesus, bro. Like, real tall, Jesus don't focus on the color of us. You think you think white people finna go to hell because they white? You think black people finna go to hell because they black? No, it depends on the actions that you do today on earth. Y'all need to get right with Jesus, bro. Stop stop worrying about the freaking color, bro. The color don't matter. Like, I don't care if he was purple, green, orange, red. I don't care, bro. Jesus is Jesus. He died on the cross for our sins. Why can't we just look at that? And if and if he was, why guess what? A white man just died on the cross for a black man's sins. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as native. And that's the same thing. And that's the same thing with black people. If Jesus was black, a black man just died on the cross for a white man's sins. So cool, please. Blue eyes. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as native people, the end of the world already happened like multiple times. Symbols and monuments, these are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. Put up a TCBY yogurt or something. Everybody can get behind. <laughs> the truth has to be told about history. No, the, the truth was already told about history. Y'all just don't listen. Y'all don't do y'all own research. Y'all, y'all, the truth needs to be told about history. Y'all, all y'all doing is brainwashing people, bruh. 
Y'all got it now. You know, now if a kid see this show or if a, if a parent show their kid this show or documentary or whatever, now kids finna grow up thinking that white people did all these bad things. White people this, white people that. Can't trust a white man. Like, We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There's always hope. You know what I'm saying? We don't give up. Well, how about y'all tell the story of how black people killed black people 24-7? How about y'all tell the story of how there was black slaves and how there was a black owner who owned black slaves? Well, how about y'all tell those type of stories? Huh? Huh? Go ahead. Tell the whole truth. Tell all those type of stories. Tell every single truth about the, the behind the history of slavery. Tell them how, how we trying to get over slavery, but yet black people keep bringing back up slavery because of the things they see on the media. They don't see that. They don't, they don't focus on everything. They only focus on one thing, and that's just the white people. Tell them the whole story. I mean, just tell them. Just tell them. Instead of so much focus on what's going around in the world, why can't we just focus on the word of God? But now nah, y'all so focus on the color. I forgot. I'm sorry. Y'all so focus on the color. I mean, look, if we if you was happen to go to Africa or somewhere, you know, and that's black people. That's black people, by the way. That's black people, okay? Africa, that's, that's black people over there. But if you was happy to go, if a black man went over there, tell them how much, how much Africans would look at us. Just regular people, they won't look at us as we the same skin tone as them. They won't look at that. You know what I'm saying? So they probably will hurt us, do some things to it. Tell them the whole story. I just want y'all to tell them the whole story. Don't tell them just half of the story. Don't tell them about just the white people. Tell them about the black people too. I'm being honest. Just tell them about the black people too. Tell them about the black thing, the black people that do the black uh I was gonna say do the black things to black people. Oh man. Tell them about how black people do certain things to other black people. Tell them the whole story. If you want to really go deep into history. I told from our perspective. There's always hope. You no know saying we don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, what is they gonna do? Yo, English is terrible. Yo, English is terrible. What is they gonna do? What is they gonna do? What is they gonna do? Girl, if you don't go back to English class, boy. Place. I know Harriet and Frederick And my mama always said How you fella Hi hi You can't fail English If you speak English Apparently that don't go For a lot of people Cause apparently What if they go do Is not proper English What are they gonna do How are they going to, How are they going To overcome this What is they go do Be up there just like <laughs> What is they gonna do Um, first off, you people need help. You people need help. Everybody on this show needs help, honest help. And I'm not talking about therapy, none of that. No, y'all need help for real. Y'all need help because one thing that the Bible speaks on is it talks about how we should forgive others. You know what I'm saying? God forgive us each and every day. I mean, he done forgave everybody in this video. Probably not probably he did forgive. He speaks on forgiveness. He speaks on, uh, how we should not react to anger, how we should not let it, how we should not let anger, uh, make us sin. Like it, it speaks on all that. But apparently it seems like we not focused on what the Bible say because we believe that it's just a white man. A white man wrote it. A white man, they trying to brainwash us. You know, they trying to do this. They trying to do that. <laughs> but we not, but y'all so focused on the color of, of Jesus. Y'all really need serious help because honestly, this whole documentary is straight bull. Straight bull. Like if I could report it, I will report it. And I hope that this get taken down in the next when it airs, I hope this actually get taken down. I hope this doesn't stay on the internet for the next generation to see because this is not the truth. Y'all not speaking nothing. Y'all not speaking the whole full truth. Y'all only speaking about the whites. Y'all not speaking the whole entire truth. Like black people, bro, we need to get over this. We need to grow up. We need to be the bigger people. Yeah, we're looking like we looking like we are just complaining, 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 complaining. Like, but instead, that's all we're doing. We're not doing anything else to better the U.S., anything else to better the America, anything. We're not doing nothing, nothing at all, at all. All we care about is what the white person did. We don't care about what our own people did, it's just what the white person did. The white person did this, oh, nope. That's all we care about, bro. But that's not how I'm raising my kids. My future kids, I'm not raising them to just believe in that. I'm not raising them. To, I want them to know the full history. I want them to know that, yes, there was black owners. I want them to know that, yes, black people did uh, 
so black pe- other black people to say, I want them to know everything. I want them to know the truth behind Barack, all the presidents. I want them to know the truth behind all this. Not just what a white man do, because I'm not going to brainwash my kids thinking that white people is just this terrible human being, this terrible, these terrible people when they're not. White people is the coolest people that you can meet. You just got to meet the right ones. Don't get me wrong. It is some really disgusting white people out there, but it's also some really disgusting black people out there. It's a disgusting, it's a disgusting human being in every single culture. And that's just facts. But I'm not going to bash nobody. I'm not going to bash no type of culture, no race. I'm not going to do that. My skin tone doesn't define, doesn't define who I am as a person. I'm sorry what my ancestor did, but that doesn't define who I am. I'm sorry what my, my, my culture of people do, steal, kill, and do all that. I'm sorry for that, but that's not who I am. And I'm pretty sure white people think the same thing. They sorry for what their ancestors did, but they don't want to do that to us. And they, I'm pretty sure half of them apologize and say, look, I'm sorry, but that's not who I am. I might be white, but I'm the coolest white person you can meet. You can be around me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be racist towards you. I believe that I don't even believe in racism. I believe we're all united into one. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, thank you for just the support. The love and support lately been crazy, bro. We had 36.2 thousand subscribers, bro. Y'all been going stupid. I appreciate y'all, man. 40K on the way, 100K by the end of this year. Uh, anyways, I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.